Oh yeah, that's the copper right there. And that's exactly where it bent at when I accidentally dropped my lens. Oh, time to fix it. So I actually find it's very ironic that I'm actually posting this on YouTube while looking at a YouTube tutorial trying to fix my lens which I'll tell you in a little bit what exactly happened but as you can kind of see now that it's off it's bent right right in there it's definitely not as straight as that one you can probably guess at this point what exactly happened to my lens to where I ended up at this point but uh, like I said, I'll go ahead and uh, tell you what happened shortly Shortly after I'm done with this. Uh, camera surgery. My face is super dark. I should get a little bit closer. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Alright, so real quick, just to kind of show all of you what... Uh, what exactly had happened on this particular photo shoot, which is why I had to replace uh, this piece actually on the uh, um, on my 24 to 70 uh, Mark II lens. So basically, what had happened was is that I'll show you real quick. So when I go on shoots, I actually don't really like have like a little like side like holster bag or somewhere to kind of really put my lenses. So I kind of just improvise with uh, with my jacket pockets, which I will not be doing from here on out. But uh, this is pretty. This is basically what happened. So, so I actually had the lens cap off, or the 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 rear the rear cap off. Why don't don't even ask? But so what I did was I actually had the. Uh, the lens in my pocket just just like this you know just so that way when i'm switching out because usually i switch between the 50 um and my 24 to 70 uh when i'm doing shoots for portraits so on this particular shoot again i had the heavy end out usually what i do is i actually usually put the heavy in on the inside but for some strange reason i just thought oh you know what i'll just put it in reverse and then in the process, as I was going down, it actually fell out, landed. Luckily, none of the the lens itself in the rear was actually damaged or internally because I just used it just to make sure. But thankfully, it only landed on this like metal part right here. Which is why you'll see on this again, it's it's actually like warped just uh just right in here um and i'll kind of show you what was going on too with this on uh on my 5d but it luckily it only landed on that part specifically which warped the uh, um the rear mount lens um so what sucked was when i was going to try to um let me show you real quick it's gonna be kind of hard but when I was going to screw this in, it actually wasn't screwing in like like at all. Like you can kind of see like a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can just zoom this in real fast. That way you guys can kind of see what, what's going on here. So, so as I was actually just trying to screw this in, um, there's essentially this this gap right in here which wasn't allowing me to actually screw like screw this in flush like at all so pretty much i had a useless lens uh for about um a couple of weeks actually so what i did was went on amazon because you can see these things just go on real easy and flush there's no gaps like at all it's just very very easy process as far as just you know, it just goes on that easy. Um, but yeah, went on Amazon, prayed that uh, <laughs> prayed that the piece that I was ordering was the right piece, first of all. Um, 
Second of all, praying that once I replaced the piece, there was nothing internally that was actually damaged. So luckily after performing the surgery, you kind of somewhat saw um, this actually goes on. So I'm very happy, very, very happy. Um, definitely learned a lot from that um, shoot as far as uh, I'm definitely going to be making sure that I carry a uh, something just to hold my lenses in. Uh, my pockets definitely just uh, are not suffice for something like that. And I think that that's something that we kind of, you know, typically look over as far as when we're trying to do things on a budget. So I just kind of wanted you guys to be aware. Um, of this just because again I know there's a lot of people out there doing photography on a budget but as far as you know just having like a little bag or something you know just to hold your lenses in as you're like switching switching things out I it's definitely a huge recommendation of mine uh, from here on out since this happened to me um, what the funny part though is that like I've done like I've gone shooting and switched out lenses like you know like at least like 50 times and like this never happened but it just so happened that the one time that I just Put the lens in my pocket wrong obviously that happened um so again i'm just going to make sure that i'm going to be using like a like a little bag just to kind of clip to my belt clip just to just to throw the lenses in just for peace of mind from here on out because losing out on a uh, two thousand dollar lens almost made me cry on the shoot uh and again you know you just kind of have to keep shooting i didn't get some of the shots that i kind of wanted to because this lens was out of commission and I was using the 50 which uh, a lot of you know that it's just kind of limited as far as uh, wide angles go but you know what the shoot the shoot went on I still got great photos improvised had to go way you know way further back than uh than I kind of wanted to um when it came to taking some of the photos but hey you gotta you gotta adapt when uh, when a situation comes like that so cool yeah i'm really happy just want to let you guys know that that's actually what had happened um i'm sure my clients can be really happy to find out that i did fix my lens so i will have this available for uh the event that i'll be shooting in january uh for her daughter so so that's going to be really fun um and again just going to keep doing little videos like this for you guys just uh just because i'll see you guys on the next one though peace